My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of the Muppets Haunted Mansion. Now, I love the Haunted Mansion. I think it's a fantastic ride. I love it that you go into that big room and then you lower down and the pictures get longer. And I love the bad jokes in it. I love the atmosphere of the ride. It's a very simple ride. But there's just so much attention to detail and so much work that was put into it that it's just the very best of its kind. I love it. I'm forever bummed that the new movie is not getting directed by Guillermo del Toro because he was supposed to. And now that's not happening and now I don't care about that movie. I also love the Muppets. I think the Muppets are a fantastic group of characters. I love lots of their movies. I haven't actually seen the old TV show but I should watch it one day. Um, some of the new stuff I'm not really interested in. I think it's kind of getting ruined as a brand and that's definitely the case here. I did not enjoy this short little Disney Plus thing at all. This was really awful and I'm just going to go ahead and say that Comet the Frog should be the lead in every Muppet storyline. Comet is the heart and soul of the Muppets and without him it just isn't the same. You can put one of the side characters as the lead but it's just another case of what I always talk about which is the Minions effect which is when they take a supporting character who is meant to be a supporting character and they put him into a lead wall. It doesn't work. Ever. And because of that, like I like Gonzo the Great as a side character, but as a main character, he just can't carry even a 50 minute long movie. And that shows here. I did not find this movie to be entertaining or funny or smart. It's going for all these meta references, but every single one falls flat. It's like a movie trying so desperately hard to be the Muppets but it's just missing its soul. It's just missing its heart. And because of that, it just feels like a shameless ripoff. I love Will Arnett. I'm doing a review series now on Bojack Horseman. It's my second favorite show of all time. I think Will Arnett is such a like criminally underrated actor. And I hated, I hated seeing him be in such a stupid role in this. I think he's better than this. And it's unfortunate that he's in this because I think the guy's really talented and he's just better than this. Um, I don't know what else I can really say. The music isn't good. It's 50 minutes long and it's still a half hour too long. Uh, Comet the Frog. They got a new voice actor for him and I do not like him. I much prefer the other guy. It just doesn't sound like Comet the Frog. Um, I don't really got as much to say about here. Like the story's bad. I don't think you'd watch this expecting a great story. All I kind of wanted was just this fun, entertaining ride with enough funny jokes that's self-aware enough. And I got a movie that was trying to be that, but just failed in just about every single way. It was only 50 minutes long, but it felt so much longer. I'm not going to waste any more time talking about this. I'm going to go ahead and give The Muppets Haunted Mansion a 2 out of 10. Okay, have you seen The Muppets Haunted Mansion? If so, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon in Gavin Evans.